Hi, welcome back. And we are to the point in this series where we've created our database. We've created a feed testing program so that we can test and make sure the feeds will work with what, how we're going to install our database. Uh, we've located a couple of uh, feeds and now what we need to do is we need to populate our database with these feeds. So I'm going to go back to these feeds that I went to before, these Atlanta, Georgia feeds. And we know that this weather feed is good. And I just checked this one, and apparently it's no good. It says page not found. Well, you're going to run into this from time to time with RSS feeds. And the problem with RSS feeds, and you can see this one doesn't exist at all. And uh, then you go down to this bottom one, and the bottom one exists. So about half of the feeds that they list on this news channel actually work. So one of the problems you're going to run into that you're going to need to find a way to deal with is finding feeds that go bad. Now, uh, unfortunately, if you use a web-based cron service, you'll find that out because you'll get an email saying that your script has failed a hundred times. And then you have to go into your script and find out why, and you come to find out that there's a dead feed in there. Uh, right now, that's not something that I've addressed or figured out. But what we're going to figure out how to do here is now that we know how to determine whether a feed is any good and whether it fits the way that we have structured our cron for the feed, we're going to go ahead and actually let me, I'm going to refresh this because I had tested this page and then I deleted it so that you can go through this with me and that it's going to work in real time on my tutorial just like it's going to work in real time on your site. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find our feed test script that we made in an earlier video, and that should be at uh, feed test, whatever you called it, .php. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to find that feed tester, and then we want to locate a feed that we want to try and utilize. So we know this weather blog feed is good, so we've tried that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the weather blog feed, we're going to copy out the URL from uh, the browser bar. We're going to go to feed test, pop that in there, and hit send. And we can see that that feed is reading out just fine. So we know that we can put this feed into our uh, database now. So we go back here, make sure that we've still got that on our clipboard. We've copied that, uh, copy it again, even though. Uh, then we go to our database that we just created in the last video. So what we want to do is we want to put this in our feeds list. So we'll click on feeds list here and we're going to make a form to do this so that we don't have to address the database directly in the future but for right now this is just to show you fairly quickly how this is going to work. And you can see that there's an empty result, there's nothing in there so we need to insert some data so we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to click the insert here and under feed URL, we're going to paste that URL that we had. And I know some of these other fields are redundant, but it's the way I set things up to begin with. Uh, and so essentially I end up using these in a redundant fashion. You can uh, feel free to modify your script in any way you want possible, but I'm not sure that I'm not going to be able to... Uh, you know, that I'm going to be able to take this out and everything. Hang on just a second. Let me wait. Blog. I'm not one of these big multitaskers, and as you can see, sometimes I just kind of limp through this stuff. But uh, I know this feed region is, going, region is going to be Atlanta, so I'll just paste that in there. This is kind of irrelevant. I don't know why it's still in there, but... I might have something to, that depends on that, so I'm going to leave it in there. So as you can see, I've got Atlanta Weather Blog in here four times. You know, that would be a real hassle, except that it's not that big of a hassle because depending upon how many feeds I'm going to put in there, uh, every time I put a feed in, it, it can result in thousands of stories down the line. So we've got these fields done. And name and title is going to be the same thing. Region, that's going to be Atlanta. You could put Atlanta, Georgia, or you could uh, 
you know, find a way to omit that if necessary, but that might carry over to uh, the actual feeds themselves. Uh, this feed length of 10, just, you know, deal with it. Sorry, I don't know what else to say. Uh, looks like I misspelled Atlanta. Yep, I sure did. So let me go ahead and fix that elsewhere. Copy that here. Paste there. Paste there. Paste there. So now we're good. All right. So uh, we have our feed in there. We have the feed information it's asking for. And this cron file here, you have a number between 1 and 5. Currently, it, our cron file is 1. And the reason I'm going to show you when I show you the cron file, and it's going to timestamp this record. And there's a reason behind that, too. And I'll get into that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I see that I have one inserted. So let's just go ahead and do two. Uh, because I, I really want to show you this. So I'm going to back up here and I'm going to find this next one that I found to be good. We're going to copy that. We're going to run this into our feed tester. And hopefully we get a decent result. Yeah, and, and what's uh, neat about this is you can see that the formatting is in there as well. So that's going to be pretty neat. So we know that this feed works too. I have the feed in my clipboard, so I haven't copied anything since. So I'm going to go ahead and put this feed URL in there as well. And what was the story behind this? It is uh, James Dupree's Washington Insider. We'll just call it, yeah, we'll just take that and use that as a title. So we'll copy that out here and we just paste it in as uh, feed name, feed title, and let's say Washington. Naturally, you'd probably want to look this feed over and make sure that, you know, that that's pretty much the actual region, that it's not a Georgia feed about Washington. Now we know that this works with our first cron so we're going to use cron file 1 again and uh, then we're going to hit go and we're going to find that we have two news feeds in our system. So as I browse this should come up with two records and they should have two different URLs, feed URLs, they do, and one's the Atlanta Weather Blog, and the other one is James Dupree's Washington Insider. So now that we've got that in our system, we can turn around and run our cron. So the link down below that I have for your cron script is phprocksfreecodecron.txt. Just click on that link and this should open up just like this and then as we've done before just copy the whole thing right click it copy it now go to your notepad plus plus and it's going to tell me that that doesn't exist anymore do I want to keep it in there no I don't because I that's the one I told you I deleted so I'm going to make a new document I'm going to paste this in there all right now I'm going to save this as and in doing so, I'm going to go to the news folder. You recall we made that in the last video. And where it says scripts, I'm not going to go into scripts. I'm just going to go here and call this cron. C-R-O-N dot P-H-P. And I'm going to save it as cron P-H-P. And you can see that once I have, it's highlighted as a P-H-P document. So since I've saved that directly into uh, my XAMPP server, if I didn't, I would want to FTP that up to the, to the server that I'm using uh, online. And we'll get on to the online server thing when we need to get there, but we probably will need an online server to run uh, the Twitter bot and things of that nature. So, but for now, we've got the file in our, uh, in our directory. So I'm going to click up here. This is where you got the free file. We've already got that. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and close that window. Now you can see here that if I go to feeds, I have absolutely nothing in there. Now let me explain to you what the script does. 
uh, real quick like here's uh, instructions of where to put this in having to do with things uh, it uses an include folder and the includes is scripts connect all PHP and you may recall that's the, the script that you use to connect to your database and you have to have that so the very next thing in here is it's going to select everything from the feeds list where we just put those two feeds and it's going to say where cron file equals one now if you had to pull out your data in a different way which will show in other things because all XML is not structured exactly the same so you may need a different structure down here so what we're doing is we're this, we're calling this cron so if we need a different structure down here and we need to modify this and then put that feed in our database and be able to collect the information we'll call that cron file 2 so anyway this is going to run one loop through the entire system it's going to read which uh, XML feed we want to get and then from here it's going to output that down below as URL equals string feed URL and you can see that that comes out of the database of the URL uh, of the feeds list and then we take that and we run the simplex load file on URL as we demonstrated in the in the file that we we're using as a testing file and then we loop through that uh, up to 10 records now I had had this set higher but this particular feed only has 10 records it will index those 10 records and then it will start throwing errors and we don't want errors so we're gonna go up to 10 records plus this is lighter on your cron script and we've explained all of this. This is how you extract the information out of the XML. And what we're doing different here than what we did on the, uh, on the demonstration, the test page. Uh, on the test page, we echoed this back out onto the page. But we're not going to do that with this because we're going to put this into the database. So instead of echoing it out into the page, we're running another script that which is SQL equals MySQL query insert ignore into feeds okay what the ignore means is if there's a title already in existence in these feeds if we didn't have this insert ignore every time this script ran it would run the same story in as a new story even though the story was already in there and we don't want that story in there more than once so the ignore is is going to cause it to ignore any duplicates in the title field so anyway it, it inserts into fields it inserts in into all of the uh, fields in the uh, feeds list these values which as you can see come from uh, this feed ID comes from where the feed was from publication date comes from the actual XML feed itself so does title one so does description one and as we found author doesn't exist in this particular feed feed region is going to come from up here now that's where we put the region of uh, Georgia and also Washington feed name that's where this needs this name and uh, now is going to put a current timestamp in there and this is important that we have this current timestamp because this is going to update a feed and it's going to say select from feeds list where cron file equals one order by cron ascending limit one so uh, this cron this now is uh, feed time and cron is set to now update feeds list set cron now cron equals now where feed id equals feed id so this is going to tell the script because we're going to run this script more than one time this script has to be run a number of times for what we're doing now later on what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this portion of the script from here down to here and we're just going to loop through this and run it several times but for right now we're just going to run it one time this is to keep things simple and understandable and then you go down here to the bottom and I've got 
echo feed title and this is going to echo the title of the feed that is just used to update the database so with all that done and said and you put this file in the right place you can just navigate to this file and if you're on localhost that should be at newscron.php so I'm gonna go ahead and visit that and it should pause for a second and give me the name of a feed if all goes well okay Ad Atlanta weather blog so now let's go back to our database and take a look <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> now we've seen the feeds list and we know what's in there there's there was uh, two feeds in there so now I'm I've just browsed this and this is the feeds themselves this is the stories that it is parsed out of those feeds and placed into your database so you can see there's 10 stories because we loop through 10 uh, RSS uh, items and each story is unique the links are unique even though you can't see it from here I've already checked on those and they are unique and the log time is unique uh, pretty much unique I mean it it just it zoomed through there in like a second now we have the tweet field because we're gonna need that later on but these are all gonna be zeros and they're gonna stay zeros and you can see that we're not gathering any author information from that feed so now let's go ahead and go back to our uh, cron and we're gonna reload it and it should say about that Washington thing when we do so let's try that and see what happens ah you you have an SQL error syntax error near Washington Insider comma now at line one alright let's see if anything got into our database from that because we had 10 records but we'll take a look here and see if anything got in nope we still got the 10 records so we have a problem with uh, that line and I wonder if it's in here because I did notice there was a comma in here and I was wondering about that comma I think this Jamie Dupree's in the comma is not gonna work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and see if that takes care of our problem we have a comma here we have a comma here and we have a comma here so uh, we're just gonna take out the comma for now there's ways to deal with that with characters but just to be sure let's go ahead and get rid of that comma and then that way maybe it'll run uh, so let me go ahead and update that now that that's updated let's go back to our cron script and it'll probably go back to the other one the weather one nope it's Jamie Dupree's insider Washington now okay we're back over here and you can remember that we had 10 feeds right 10 stories now we have 20 stories so it's grabbed both feeds now if you look over here at the feeds ID field you'll notice that their uh, first 10 stories are going to be feeds ID 1 and then the next stories are going to be feeds ID 2 this is how you ID the feeds when we go to actually print these out on a website and search them and find uh, information from one feed so now if I go back here if I hadn't done that insert unique and I reloaded this again I'd get 10 more stories even though there were stories I had but you're gonna see that this will go back to the weather and then I'll hit it again and it'll go back to Jamie Dupree and I'll hit it again and it'll go back to weather if I hadn't done that unique I'd have 50 stories in here right now so I'm gonna browse this again and you're gonna see that there's 20 stories now watch what happens just just to uh, to be completely well insert ignore that's not really gonna matter because the way I've got my database set up it's not going to allow the other because it's it's got an index on unique but also that insert ignore is gonna keep it from overwriting so anyway uh, let's see how long this has gone Ooh, 20 minutes so so that's how you populate your database and even though this is 20 minutes long uh, yeah we'll, we'll wrap it here and I'm gonna show you how to make a desktop cron in the next video so come back and hopefully this is uh, you're enjoying this and you're finally starting to see some usable results here and if you like it please give me a thumbs up comment rate subscribe and I'll look for you in the very next video thanks